my name is Emer and I work here in the HPRA. You may know that the HPRA regulates medicines and medical devices, but we also regulate cosmetic products. And I want to talk to you about one in particular today, sunscreens. Choosing the right sunscreen product can be difficult because there's lots of information on the packaging and there's lots of different choices. So I'm hoping that this video will help answer some of the questions you may have when choosing a sunscreen product. So there's many different ways to protect yourself from the sun, for example, seeking shelter, but sunscreen is a vital part of your sun protection regime. It's really important to protect yourself against UVA and UVB radiation because these have the potential to cause cancers. So firstly, let's talk about UVB radiation. So UVB radiation is the radiation that causes your skin to darken in color or even to burn in some instances. The SPF in a product, so the sun protection factor, is, the, is a measure of how that product protects your skin from UVB radiation. So there's no total block from UVB radiation, but there is lower and higher SPF sun products. So we recommend, particularly for fair skin, that you use a higher SPF, so for example, 30 or above. The next thing to consider when choosing a sunscreen product is the UVA protection. So UVA actually penetrates deeper than UVB and it causes aging, pigmentation and wrinkles. So it's important that you choose a product that also protects against UVA. Any sunscreen product that contains the minimum level of UVA protection, as stipulated in the EU legislation, will likely have a UVA logo on it, and you should look out for this when selecting a sunscreen product. So if you're buying a sunscreen product, make sure you choose one that's broad spectrum. So that means that it both covers UVA and UVB radiation. For more information on sunscreens and cosmetic products, visit our website at hpra.ie forward slash cosmetics. Thanks for watching.